everyone and welcome back to Raining Cake. So today's video is a skincare day to night video, like day to night skincare video basically. I realised when I checked the last time I uploaded this type of video was actually a year ago, like exactly a year ago. So my skincare has changed a lot since then so I thought it would be nice to update you on the new products that I am currently using. So my day to night skincare is not that complicated. I think when people tell you they've got a skincare routine that they follow religiously, it's not that bad as it sounds. Like some people may think that, oh, it's gonna, it must take you such a long time to like put all these products on and actually spend time doing your routine. But do you know what? After you've done it for a while, it actually just becomes part of your everyday kind of beauty regime type thing and it doesn't take a lot of time at all um so yeah i just wanted to take the stigma away th from like people saying oh you know skincare routines or beauty routines take a long time they don't you just incorporate it into your daily and a lot of people tell, tell me often that they don't have time to put this cream on and they don't have time to put that cream on you will make time you or you can make time for it if you really wanted to so yeah enough of the rambling about skincare routines um but mine has been you know similar for years and years and years just that the product has changed over the years so yeah so here i am updating you on the latest products that i use on my skin so i am going to start off by telling you about the cleanser that i use so i use the same cleanser for my day skincare and my night skincare so day skincare basically meaning when you wake up and wash your face um so that's that's the day skincare um so i use the dolce and gabbana cleansing gel and this one is a purifying foam mousse cleanser so it's a little bit grubby on the on the top because of the makeup um but yeah this is a foaming cleanser it is quite soapy actually when i say quite it's actually very soapy and it comes out like a it's kind of like a gel form um foam if that makes sense so you like I always do a couple of pumps and then mix it in with water and it becomes this really nice like foam. Um, goes into my skin, the usual kind of method that you would use to clean your skin. I avoid the eye area only because this actually, because it's quite soapy, it actually stings the eyes um, when you're like washing it. So I avoid the eye area. So I go round um, neck and whatnot and I always single cleanse in the morning and double cleanse in the evening. And I find that this cleanser takes off everything in the evening. I used to all I used to in the evening do like a pre-cleanse. I used to would use either a, a cleansing wipe or like micellar water or something like that to just take off like the first layer of makeup. But with this, I find that you don't actually need that because the first layer of the foam just gets rid of the makeup anyway. So I don't need to pre-cleanse or anything with this cleanser. So yeah, so that's my cleanser. Moving on to toner. So this is what I use only for the daytime. And this one is the Liz Earl Instant Boost Skin Tonic. Um, and this one is the one where you would have to put on cotton pads. I know there is also a just a spray version, um, but I love Liz Earl. Like Liz Earl is one of my favorite brands for skincare in general. I love their cleansers um, and just everything they have in general. Um, their, their products are just such a cult classic to the skincare game. And like, if you mention Liz Earl, everybody knows about Liz Earl. So yeah, it's one of those um, kind of brands. So yeah, I love this toner. I've only just recently started using it and I find that it's very hydrating. It's very cooling. It's very refreshing once you put it on the skin. Um, and it smells lovely as well. It's actually a really, really nice, like aloe vera, calendula, cucumber. It's just, it's just such a nice scent. Um, and yeah, I find that it's, like I said, it tones and it cools and it refreshes like really nice. So just helps you like wake you up at the beginning of the day with a nice good tone. Um, so, I mean, that's, I guess, what toners are for generally anyway. So I love this one that I'm currently using. Um, my old one was the Get A New One, which lasted me ages. And I think this one will go the, like a long way as well. Um, yeah, so that one's a really good toner if you're looking for one that is just kind of like an all rounder. Moving on to serums. So I use the same one in the daytime and the evening time. It is the Vici 
Qualia Thermal Serum. Um, Avicii is a French brand, so I've probably just said it completely wrong. But um, yeah, I'm actually nearly at the end of this one. This one is so, so good for hydration. Um, it's quite watery and it just goes onto your skin really nicely and it just sinks in and it just makes your skin feel really, really nice. And it just gives this nice and radiant finish um, for the daytime. And yeah, I just love it. I've used it, <laughs> I've used it quite a lot. Um, and the scent again is really really refreshing so it's good for the daytime and even in the evening it's a really nice scent in general so i really enjoy using this and i am going to repurchase once this finishes i just think with serums it just adds an, an extra layer of something to your skin and just gives you the extra boost so yeah so i love that and then finishing off my daytime skincare with a moisturizer i am using the la prairie again a french brand probably saying it completely wrong emulsion anti-age spf 30. i always use spf in the mornings um be it in a moisturizer or my foundation it always has spf and i've never stopped using spf since i found out this, how bad the sun can be on your skin even without sun even when like you when you're in the uk or whatever country is always good to have spf so i love this moisturizer i've been using it for quite some time it's quite pricey um but it is a good moisturizer and normally three pumps covers my whole face and my neck and yeah i'm literally done for the day once i've put this on and then i'll just go about using my makeup um it gives a really nice base for makeup as well um although i do tend to use primer even if i'm using moisturizer um but yeah it just keeps my skin more hydrated and moisturized throughout the day and i don't then have to top up anything after that so now moving on to my nighttime skincare which is when i've done a full day at work come home and i just want to take my makeup off so the first thing i would use is the dolce and gabbana eye makeup remover this one is another one of those biphase ones i love biphase ones so you just have to give it a good shape to mix the solution together and then i'll put, put that on some cotton wool and then go over my makeup uh generally my eye makeup most of the time so um and i also do my lips and my eyebrows as well um but yeah that takes off everything and literally minimal effort it all comes off and yeah that's really really good eye makeup remover although a little bit pricey it is a really good one i then go in with a double cleanse with the dolce and gabbana cleansing gel like i said with the daytime one i've explained it there how it works but i always double cleanse with this cleanser and then in the evening i either depending on how my skin has been um the toning solution I use is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. So I generally use this most days. Sometimes if I'm feeling a bit daring, I will add in also a layer of the Radical Skincare Age Define Exfoliating Pads. I don't use them together. There might be a day where if I'm using this one, I won't use this one um, because it's then quite strong together. Um, this one I would say is better for like daily use if you wanna use something daily. This one is better like as a treatment or maybe just one or two times a week. So they both work similar um, they're both kind of very they're both exfoliating um, getting rid of dead skin cells um, when people say or hear you say acid they think that it is quite bad for the skin but actually it's not um, depending on the type of acid you're using um, I would say if you want a daily exfoliator toning solution the ordinary is very good um, it's very affordable as well I think this one's like seven pounds or something and it's a massive bottle so it lasts you ages for not for a nice treatment um, exfoliator one to two times a week the radical um, exfoliating pads is very good although it says you can use it daily I only use it once or two times a week because it is again this is quite strong especially if you've got dry dry skin and when you pull it on your skin it actually stings a little but um that subsides quite quickly um i love this again this one is quite pricey um but it's very good for evening out skin tone and ensuring that um your skin is radiant at the end of the night then my evening moisturizer i use the radical skincare anti-aging restor restorative moisture cream this one is very good i only just started using it it doesn't smell the best actually it doesn't really smell of anything um but it is a really nice and really rich moisturizer this can also be used in the day but at the moment i'm only using it at night and it works very very well with the exfoliating pads um it's a really nice nighttime moisturizer i find it that is like i said it's very rich it's very moisturizing and very good for nighttime skincare kind of restoring moisture style what I'm, whatever I'm trying to say but it's very good for that and I always feel that my skin is very dewy and very 
hydrated after using this cream so that's why I use it generally in night time because during the daytime I prefer a more matte moisturizer um, but yeah this one is a very good nighttime skincare cream okay so lastly going on to treatment wise um, of my skincare routine I use a deep cleansing exfoliator every Friday so that's like my just every Friday I just use an exfoliator it's been my thing for years um, I used a Cordelli deep cleansing exfoliator it's very good it's very rich it, it just literally takes away every dead skin cell on your skin that you will find it is so so nice after cleansing use a layer of this wash it off my skin is so smooth like it's like literally like a baby's bum so i highly recommend the deep cleansing exfoliator if you're looking for a new one then again on the same night i also use the ordinary vitamin c suspension 23 percent plus h a spears two percent this one is actually quite strong so if you've got sensitive skin I'm not sure if it's right for you um, but because it does sting when it goes on and I only use it once a week and I don't use the glycolic acid the, uh, when I'm using this I will only just use the Vichy Aqualia serum then a layer of this and then I leave it to just work do its magic overnight I never use the glycolic acid at the same time because I think then that will ensure that will just literally burn through your skin um, But yeah, no, I love this and it makes my skin look so good the next day It's just literally my skin is glowing um, And I generally do it on a Friday so on a Saturday for the weekend I have no skin So yeah, so I do recommend that as well, but just not together with the glycolic acid and lastly as a special treat I use sheet masks um, these ones are the star skin ones which I've been loving lately and they come in so many different um, forms um, in terms of like what it can do I love 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 a sheet mask I always have and I think they're just so easy to use like you don't have to wash it off after you just put it on leave it for like 10-15 minutes take it off and then massage the residue, residue into your skin um, whereas other sort of masks which I do love as well are the ones where you, but you just have to wash it off and it just takes a long time but sheet skin masks are just my favorite and I do love the star skin ones um, at the moment which I need to stock up on because I'm running out so that is my day to night skincare routine really hope you enjoyed it and obviously listened liked listening to my updated routine but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you again soon if you're new to this channel then please subscribe if you already subscribed then i'll see you again soon in my next video bye guys